welcome everybody that uh, has been around. Appreciate all of you guys being on. If you are brand new, well, then welcome aboard. Now you guys can watch this live. You'll see it. Uh, you know, if you're watching on the on the replay on YouTube, all of the you know basic like, comment, subscribe, everything else. But welcome guys to the high performance call. Now, what I want to get into today is really we talked about being committed in your level of commitment. I have before we get into E's and F's and other level, uh, you know, other letters of the alphabet. I have one more C for you guys today that we want to talk about, and that's one of the keys to commitment. Is, yeah, my jacket for sure, is consistency. And if you're struggling with being committed, understanding the power of consistency is one of, going to be one of the things that will get you where you need to be. So, how can we be more consistent? How do we? deal with the ups and downs. And I've talked about before the daily monotonies. How do we deal with those things? How do we deal with life when it's coming at us and we feel stressed, we feel overwhelmed, we get a little bit of anxiety coming in. Uh, maybe you're unsure of, of your ability to go up and down and deal with all of the things life is going to throw at you as you're building your business. The kids are home from spring break, or you get put into a second, third, fourth lockdown. You know, you put get put on furlough when you weren't expecting it. You're, or you go back to work, and all of a sudden you're doing double or triple the amount of hours that you were doing before. And how do I juggle all of it? How can I stay consistent? Um, there are a couple of real basic things that I'm going to give you guys that seem, oftentimes, the things that I share are not earth shattering. They're not things that you've never heard before. A lot of times, you just need to hear the things that you've known and then apply them. One of the most important things that you need to do if you're looking to truly be consistent in your level of commitment is going to be taking care of yourself physically and mentally. You've got to be first mentally, emotionally, spiritually, however you, you see it, you've got to take care of your heart and mind. Because if you don't, it's hard to deal with all of the other things. And what I mean is we can get anxious about a relationship. We could be anxious about stuff that's going on at work. Um, we could be anxious about family members. You need to find time to take care of you and deal with emotion. Now, dealing with emotion doesn't mean that we ignore it. It doesn't mean we put it away and we become robots. What it does mean is that there is a time and place in our lives where controlling emotion or working through emotion, dealing with them or exuding emotion, there's a proper time and place for each of those things. Typically, when we allow anxiety to overwhelm is when we allow the emotions to just run rampant and we can't control what's happening throughout the day, right? And so we've talked about before the emotional intelligence, the EQ, one of those levels of intelligence that you need. You've got to be able to control yourself in that manner. Again, not robotic-like, but there's a time and a place to deal with it. So if one of those time and places is therapy, if it's clergy or religious, you know, you need help there. If it's through meditation, if it's through prayer and scripture, if it's through exercise, whatever it is, you need to find what allows you to work through some of those emotions and do that to keep yourself in a positive mental space. Does that make sense for everybody? I know it's real simple. It's straightforward, but guys, I can't emphasize that enough especially when you're feeling stressed and you, and you start to get overwhelmed, you go, what am I going to do? I've got to get an assistant to do this, or, you know, I I've got to find a way for my supervisor to let me off a little bit at work, or maybe you're in that position. You've got a small business and you're going, I don't know how I'm going to make payroll. You've got to take care of yourself emotionally or the rest of it will snowball. You've got to do what's necessarily necessary there. And along with that, it becomes a self-care from a physical standpoint. Your physical body is what will house your mind and emotions and heart. And if you're not taking care of yourself physically, there's no way you can be a top performer. If you were, you know, if you're allowing any type of addiction to get in the way, if you're allowing a food addiction, if you're not eating healthy, if you're not exercising at all, and I'm not saying you have to, yeah, Lisa, exercise is, is a bigger key than most people want to give credit to. If you don't have to go out and be a bodybuilder, you don't have to be in a fitness competition. You don't have to be doing seven days a week or or, you know, two hours a day. That's not what we're talking about, but you do need physical activity because of the endorphins that it releases, the positive effect it has on hormones, what it does with everything else. You are able to think more clearly and it improves your cognitive function. So if you're stressed because you haven't been outside in several days, 
get outside, get some vitamin D, go on a walk and then come back and work. And I promise it'll be easier to deal with all of the other elements that you need to deal with. Okay. So we have that next when it comes to being consistent habits, it's pretty straightforward, but you need to develop the habits. Now, all that simply means is that you're going to implement something each and every day to keep you moving forward. It, it's stacking up small wins. It allows you to increase the confidence in yourself, not just the process, but yourself. I can do this because I'm also doing that, right? Working those habits into your daily life will allow you to understand that it's not just the destination, but it's the process, right? So when we talk about goals, goals are more those destination things that we're going after. The tasks are the things that we need to do, but that's what keeps the wheels turning, guys. If you're looking to raise your level of commitment, consistency is going to be one of the most important things you can do. And it's simple, emotional state, physical state, habits, right? List of priorities would be next. You've got to understand what's important. So we talked about this the other day, but it's not just the art of being busy. It's being busy with productive tasks that move the needle. You've got to be able to do that. So look, today was going to be short. Um, I want you guys to kind of sit and think about consistency, what you can do to be more consistent in the efforts that you're doing, right? You've all got your own obstacles. You know, you got the kids, you've got work, you've got a spouse that's maybe not supportive or too supportive. They're trying to take over because that happens too. You got family that's chiming in or friends that are, are either supporting you or not supporting you. You've got to get your head in the right space. And you've got to decide what is it that I can do now, today, to begin this process of becoming more consistent. So you're reading, your exercise, you're sitting down for 20 minutes to work on the graphics, walking away and coming back to it, whatever, right? Find a way to make it happen no matter what's going on, no matter where you're at, right? It's simple. It, it's more simple than you guys want to, you know, than we think oftentimes. We try to complicate it doesn't have to be as complicated as it is. Um, uh, let's see, what day is the copyright guy? He, so on that note, get out, be more consistent, be, you know, commit to yourself. I'm going to take some Q&A in a second so we can turn off the recording, but just make it an awesome day. So some of you guys, if you want to hang around, I'm going to do some Q&A real quick um, and deal with some things. Chris, if you want to go ahead and, and hit the record, if you guys are watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. If you missed the video on commitment, then go back and listen. Um, but let me, I'm going to pop over to the chat here. Um, I'm new to the program. I live in Prescott. Lynn, very cool.